so people with BBC News. Now, Britain's King Charles has been presented with the Scottish Crown Jewels as part of a ceremony to celebrate his coronation. Well, the afternoon began with a people's procession which left Edinburgh Castle and made its way along the Royal Mile. Around 100 people from all walks of Scottish life were involved, including NHS workers, refugees and politicians. Many people gathered ahead of the service to show their support for the King, but there was also a sizeable anti-monarchy protest. A demonstration also took place outside of the Scottish Parliament, attended by the co-leaders of the Green Party. Now, King Charles and the Queen then arrived at St Giles's Cathedral for the service of thanksgiving and dedication, in which the pair's efforts to protect the environment were praised during the sermon. It was then on to the presentation of the Honours of Scotland, the Sword of State, the Scepter, and the crown, the oldest crown jewels in Britain. By the symbol of this crown, we pledge our loyalty, in trusting that you reign as our king in the service of all your people. In receiving this crown, I so promise by God's help. Well, let's head live to Edinburgh and live to our Scotland correspondent, James Shaw, who's been watching what has been a, a wonderful few hours of pomp and ceremony. And James, your, your reflections, first of all. Yes, it really has, Matthew, a day of uh, colour and pageantry here in Edinburgh. We've just seen the last of the marching bands disappearing out of the gates of the Palace of Holyrood House, so everything has come to a close. There was a fly pass by the Red Arrows at the end and a 21-gun salute from the ramparts of Edinburgh Castle. And that was really the, the closing chapter of a day which has seen the streets of Edinburgh filled with people, a people's procession coming from Edinburgh Castle, bringing the Scottish Crown Jewels to St Giles Cathedral, and then the Royal Party, the King and Queen, coming from this palace um, of Holyrood House up to the cathedral and this service which was I think a reflection really of uh, Scottish uh, talent and Scottish culture and its uh, diversity there were tributes from uh, different faiths there was a song sung in uh, Gaelic the language of the Western Isles uh, of Scotland uh, there was a performance by the uh, world-famous violinist Nicola Benedetti and as the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland said in her sermon it was a reflection of the the deep richness of Scottish culture she said it was a saga not a short story and I think probably what uh, King Charles would have wanted people to take from it was the, the feeling he has of this really strong bond with Scotland as part of the United Kingdom but also reflecting the fact that for many people you know Scotland should be an independent nation and there was a lot about Scottish sovereignty ancient Scottish kingship the stone of destiny which is one of the most powerful symbols of uh, Scottish nationhood was part uh, of the ceremony at St Giles Cathedral. So uh, it was a day really full of symbolism, a lot to take away, but of course some people are really not interested um, in the royal family, in King Charles in Scotland. They're probably less popular here than some other parts of the United Kingdom. But for a lot of people, tourists from all over the world and, and, and people from Scotland, I think they will have enjoyed the, the spectacle and the colour uh, of these events today in Edinburgh. James Shaw, thanks very much for taking us through all of that. Uh, and uh, as uh, we uh, come away from James, let me just uh, bring you the very latest information because uh, our correspondent uh, here on the programme only about half an hour was referencing it, but a bit more detail about uh, arrests and protests there uh, around the Royal Mile because uh, we're hearing from our Home Affairs correspondent that a small group of protesters on the Royal Mile have been arrested after chanting at the King and Queen as they were driven back from St Giles's Cathedral. Uh, you will have uh, just caught a little of that uh, as the King and Queen uh, passed by. Now, uh, the group were waving a banner saying the palace should be... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media.
We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.